Is it six 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 six? Sir, is it one hundred fifty and fifty thousand Canadian dollars? I think it's six 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 six. Yeah, me too. Okay. It is sixty-six thousand six hundred and sixty-seven U.S. dollar. Good. Right. Yes. David, what happened to you? My I first got this answer, but then I I changed to I changed my information. Michael. Yeah, I got it right. Very nice. So should I need to explain or just go towards the answer here? Samir? Can you explain? No need. Can, you, can you explain, sir? Yeah, sure. Why not? So what we need to do, we need to find out. Wait, let me just write it down here. So your quotation is that $1 is equal to 3 Argentinian pesos. You can write it down in in ratio form that one dollar <coughs> the price of one dollar is three in terms of Argentinian pesos <coughs> sorry so this is the price of one Argentinian pesos in terms of Canadian dollar right and you need to purchase thousand uh, 100,000 Canadian dollars with the US right with the US dollar it means how much dollars are needed to purchase 100,000 Canadian dollar right your point of interest is to find out how much US dollar needed or in other sense you are want to find out what is the value of one US dollar in terms of Canadian dollar. Let me just write it down just dollar here. So how much one dollar is equal to Canadian dollar, right? So can you develop this? ratio we need ap here we need ap here so that wait so that ap if it cancels we have this condition so let's just fill it fill it out so do we have canadian dollar over ap we have it here right yeah AP over answer is one point five, right? And what we need to do? Wait, let me just check my calculator. Okay, so it means one dollar is equal to one point five Canadian dollar, and how much we want to purchase one hundred thousand Canadian dollar. So how much? How many U.S. dollars are needed? Right. This is the value of dollar in terms of Canadian dollar, right? And your question is that from 100,000 Canadian dollar, how much US dollars are needed, right? Similarly, you divide it and you can find out or if you need answer in terms of ratio. So here, 
this is Canadian dollar. Our dollar is 1.5 and you have 100,000 Canadian dollar. You need to find out that how much dollars are needed. So how much dollars are needed? You just multiply this. This is Canadian dollar. You just multiply this with, let me just clear this out so that I can, we find out that 1.5 is CS over dollar. It is the value of $1 in terms of Canadian dollar. You have 100,000 Canadian dollar and you need to find out dollar. You can multiply this with dollar over Canadian dollar so that this Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar cancel, right? And you find out the answer in terms of dollar. What you need to do, you need to find out this ratio. Do we have this ratio? We have inverse of this ratio, dollar over Canadian dollar. So you just one by 1.5 multiply by answer is Understand? Yeah, I have another question. Mm. Yes. So uh, when, when you said we have to find the uh, Canadian dollar uh, ratio in dollars, how did you uh, decide which ratios to multiply? How I decide, I find out the ratio that we need to find out. Yes and we develop the dimensions okay let me yeah could you, question could you go again. over that step one more time okay there is i can just develop three step process first you need to find out the two currencies that make your cross rate right first of all we have given two currencies that one dollar is equal to three argentinian pesos we can write it down how we can write down this in terms of ratio? So one dollar is equal to three Argentinian pesos. In ratio, we can write it down that one US dollar is equal to three Argentinian pesos, right? Or you can write it down here is equal to three. Understand? Yeah. It means for this, you can replace this because this is the value of one US dollar in terms of Argentinian pesos. Understand? One, two, three. We have Argentinian pesos over dollar three. And how we can write, write it down this? Canadian dollar over peso is equal to Argentinian peso is equal to 0.5. Understand? Third point is crucial point. What you have to find out, you need to purchase. So the question is reverse from the previous. In that, you need to convert how much is your Canadian dollar worth in terms of peso note. Here, you already given that you need to buy. 100,000 Canadian dollar for this one. How much US dollar you must have in your pocket? The question is like that. Understand? Or you can say that you have 100,000 Canadian dollar and how much worth of 100,000 Canadian dollar in terms of US dollar, right? You can do it in, in your own way as well. I just gave you one example. It can be done through maybe four or five different methods. You can use whatever you want. If we want to find out, okay, if you want to find out dollar over CS, you can also find out through dollar over CS. Then you need to be careful regarding the currencies movement as well. For, or for example, in previous solution, we talk about that our person of interest in that how much dollar we have for this how much dollar we need to convert into $100,000. So we develop this cross rate. 
but now we can do it in this one as well. It means we're talking about what is the value of one Canadian dollar in terms of dollar. And here we talk about in our earlier solution that what is the value of dollar in terms of Canadian dollar. So let's talk about there as well. We can also find out in one or two or three method, whatever you like. If you understand, uh -huh, the so concept, it is very easy for you. Can, yeah. can I calculate? I, I use it to, to calculate those things using a uh, rule of three, you know? Yeah, sure. Is that okay? Like if I use this. Can you, huh? can you introduce this rule, Nicola? I'm curious. No, it, it, it's a simple ma a math method. Nicola, you can just make a yeah. small video and you can share it into the group, right? So that the others can also okay. understand. My method is very dif difficult for you guys. You can use other method as well, right? So okay, don't I can, that. I can do it. Nah, because for advanced That's study, good. if you understand all these one, you can easily understand all the question as well. Okay, Michael, we can also do this in, in terms of, so all we have to do, we have to make this. And how we can make this ratio? Right? AP, AP cancels, right? This is just mathematical rule. We can, if you multiply these ratios, answer would be in dollar over CS, right? Oh, where I'm going here. So do we have dollar over AP? No, and it, it means we have AP over dollar. What we have to do, we have to make it inverse one by three. We have AP over CS dollar, uh, Canadian dollar. No, we need to flip it over. Answer is one over 1.5, which is 0 0.666666. And now you can also find out that, okay, one Canadian dollar is equal to 0.666. Point six 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 dollar, and how much? It means one hundred thousand Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar would be equal to. You just multiply this in previous explanation. We divide, and now we are multiplying this because we want to find out the dollars. So answer would be in dollars. That is six 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 and seven. So one Canadian dollar is equal to. Point six 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 dollar. Then one hundred thousand Canadian dollar would be. You just multiply it in terms of dollar. You got it. And if you yeah, want, yeah, I got it. And if it you are looking bad. the dimensions, let me just writing down the dimension here. So the dimension here is. So this dimension is dollar. Our CS and we are multiplying by what we have Canadian dollar and this ratio is dollar over Canadian dollar. So Canadian dollar, Canadian dollar cancel. Answer is in dollar. So 0 0.666 multiplied by 100,000 answer would be in dollars. So that, that is the basic mathematics in terms of dimensions. Understand? Yeah. Okay, I have explanation with two different methods here. One method is this and one method is this. You can use whatever you want. So there is not a specific solution. There can be many, like Nicola said, the tree method. You can also have your own cross multiplication method. I have introduced you to this uh, dimension method, right? Okay. If you understand that, then there must be correct answer from all of you of this question. Okay, sir, but